How are you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato and thanks for stopping by. So you might know that I did a few coleoptera or beetle programs for the public and we found lots of cool stuff. Tons of beetles of course, moths, grubs, ants, spiders, just everything exciting, right? I had this rotting log that I set aside so I could break it open and share with the public some of the things that live within them, hopefully developing beetle larvae right because that's the program and we did find something amazing the prize of the show a large pupa of what I'm pretty sure is a brown prinid beetle have a look at this because it's amazing as I said I'm pretty sure this is the pupa of a brown prinid which is a somewhat large beetle I've got a couple of videos on them that I've uploaded in the past and I'm soon going to be doing one showing the various life stages and development of the brown prionids. The pupa is the stage immediately following the larval stage of a beetle's life cycle. As you can see, this thing is almost completely finished metamorphosizing into what's going to be the adult beetle. You can clearly make out the legs, the wing buds, and even the antenna. If this was a different type of longhorn species, those antenna would be even longer and curled up or spiraled. If those things are sticking out during development, they could either be nipped off by various predators or even suffer damage just from environmental characteristics. I showed this pupa to my mom and she actually thought it was really cool looking and remarked about how much it reminds her of some kind of like Egyptian sarcophagus or something. I mean, you can even see the headdress and all, and I have to agree with her. Completely looks like something you would find in a pyramid. And I'm not thinking of scarabs. I'm just saying overall, this has a rather Egyptian-like appearance, and it's really cool. Now, just the slightest touch or jostle of this pupa can cause it to wiggle its abdomen. It does that defensively to, you know, alarm predators, or to even shake off maybe some insect predators or maybe shake it out of a bird's mouth. It's clearly defensive. It might look a little creepy or gross, but that's the whole intention, right? <sighs> this thing's just really neat. So what do you think? You know, I know that grubs and pupa of various insects often kind of gross people out a little bit and stuff, but you got to be able to set that aside and appreciate the, the artistic beauty of such a process and this particular pupa especially I mean I totally agree this thing completely looks like something you would find in a pyramid and I find that really cool anyhow uh, I intend to have a video with the various life stages of the brown prionid to show you the the life cycle and thanks a lot for watching hope you enjoyed this video see you next time Chris Ignato signing out don't bite me.